Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Russell here. I thought I would do a uh, quick video blog because this is a pretty significant day in the history of the uh, coronavirus in Israel. Because as of 8 p.m. last night, the indoor mask mandate, which is really the last significant restriction on our daily lives here in Israel, was lifted. So that was 8 o'clock, which coincidentally was, well not coincidentally, was the end of the festival of uh, Pesach or Passover. So what exactly has changed? Well, basically it's easier to list now the number of places where you will require a mask indoors and everywhere else you don't. So it's basically healthcare facilities. It's going to be uh, from, this is to the best of my knowledge, I'm not obviously an official source. So uh, do verify all this information, but what I read was hospitals, health clinics, old age homes, and importantly flights into and out of Israel. So in other words, the most at risk populations are still being protected to some extent. But other than that, no, you don't need to wear a mask indoors. Now you might ask, why are you wearing a mask, Daniel? Well, there's two reasons. Firstly, I must admit to feeling a little bit uncomfortable about this. Uh, there's still a pandemic going on, etc, etc, but I'm on the much more conservative end of all this since the very start. But the actual reason I'm wearing a mask today is because there is a sandstorm in Jerusalem. I'll cut to the sky now so you can see it's completely this crazy, crazy colour. Sometimes in Jerusalem, the desert dust blows in. I have asthma, as I've mentioned, I think a few times in passing on this channel. So us asthmatics and people with OECD are more at risk for, you know, it's irritating our breathing. I've personally had it happen a few times because these sandstorms are sort of annual events here. Um, but I actually want to make a bigger point, and that's my hope for post-pandemic world that mask wearing is going to be more normalized. Previously, even though I've had asthma since I was, you know, a uh, teenager basically, I would never have thought to wear a mask in public because I would have been too embarrassed to do so. You see that kind of stuff in Asia. So I, I hope one lasting effect as Corona moves from a pandemic to just a contained illness is that mask, mask wearing should be more normal for asthmatics. I started wearing it irrespective of Corona, for instance, when I'm going by a very, so I always keep a mask in my pocket now or several. If I'm, uh, you know, walking next to a lot of traffic, I don't want the traffic fumes, I put on my KN95. So anyway, I thought I'd make this video firstly to say that we've reached a significant milestone here in Israel regarding Corona. And secondly, to say, show you what a sandstorm here looks like. And thirdly, to say that I hope that mask wearing is not abandoned. I know there are still people who are who share my skepticism about the lifting of the mask mandate and they're planning on uh, wearing it all the time indoor outdoors there's no i don't think the government would have ever have any way of forcing people not to wear masks but like that because i think it's everyone's right to protect their health as they see fit so yeah i'm planning on uh, probably being a bit more cautious than most people the idea of mask wearing not being mandatory on public transport buses and trains definitely makes me quite uneasy in particular so I'm probably going to be wearing a mask on the bus or train even if other people aren't but that's just my personal decision it's no longer legally you know mandatory and yeah that's it we reached a big milestone here in Israel I always think that the you know when you go out the door you've got your keys you've got your wallet then you have to remember do you have your mask that's probably the last real significant sort of incursion on daily life. So anyway, that's the latest from uh, Israel regarding the COVID restrictions. And uh, I'll show you guys, I'm just on a little errand here to pick up a few post items. I'll show you guys a couple of clips from inside the post office and the supermarket here, both places where mask, mask wearing would have been mandatory up until, uh, I guess, last night effectively. Uh, and we'll see what that looks like. Thanks for watching another video on my YouTube channel. If you want to get more like these, feel free to subscribe.